Welcome to episode 140 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by AmainHobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. Hey ho, what are you doing out there? It looks freezing cold. Yeah, it's really cold, so I've got a few tips to make your winter a little bit more enjoyable. First, wear fingerless gloves. They keep your hands warm, but leaving your fingers free to control your radio. Second, hand warmers. Put them in your pocket and warm your hands up as need be. Third, wear sunglasses. The winter sun is brighter than usual, and with the snow, the reflection is especially blinding. Back to you, Kevin. Let's check in with pro racer Jared Tebow on how to properly adjust your slipper clutch. I think it's better to start out pretty loose. Um, you know, you don't want to really get your uh, your pads too hot trying to set it, but I think it's pretty good to kind of get them seated well, you know, if you have new pads. So start out nice and loose until now it's starting to grab a little bit. Getting close, I want my front end to come up, to come up pretty quick. Um, also listen to the sound, you know, you don't want it uh, slipping too much when you're out there on the track with it too loose. Once it starts slipping, it'll just keep getting worse. So um, if you're a little bit on the tighter side, I think it's a little bit safer. That's almost there. If you notice it, it didn't shoot up real quick. It kind of hesitated at the beginning and then came up. So um, I'm gonna go just a little bit tighter. We're ready to hit the track. Dean Arnold recently posted this amazing footage of the maiden flight of the first twin jet engine powered microflight in the UK. Filmed at the Damons Hall Airfield, the Psy Rocket is a molded composite monoplane design, normally powered by a 40 horsepower gas engine and a pusher propeller. Sounding exactly like a Learjet on takeoff, this new version is powered by two JetCat P200SX RC grade turbine engines. This one really turns some heads. <laughs> I recently caught this video of a monster truck running on two Castle Creations Mama Monsters and a 12S Lipo pack and was super impressed. What impressed me even more was that this dude built the thing out of Kinex. I can't believe this truck holds up to that kind of power and those crashes. We got a uh, Kinex truck, weighed about 25 pounds, dual Mamba Monster motors, dual 22.2 volt batteries, um, 400 inch ounce high tech servo for steering. It almost doesn't care what you do to it. I've broken several eighth inch mount plates for it. Um, it's all pretty much custom. I built the drive shafts. They still don't hold up. The U-joints still melt out, so I gotta find something to replace those. But uh, it's uh, a lot of work, a little fun. of remote control cars, trucks, planes, and helicopters. Want parts and accessories? A-Main Hobbies has what you need. Visit us at amainhobbies.com or call 800-705-2215. Get it all at A-Main Hobbies. Leave your competition in the dirt. Another cold weather tip, as we talked about earlier, was that, you know, take some time and let your engine warm up in the cold weather here. Um, once you get the engine started, don't, don't jam it to full throttle and try and start tuning it right off the bat. You know, start and let the airplane idle for probably four to five minutes. It seems like a long time, but literally the fuel consumption is minor. Let the engine get up to operating temperature before you go through and, uh, and, and start tuning the engine. It's, it's good practice and it'll save on the engine life of the engine.
It's that time of year again. Get your voice heard in the 2012 RC Car Action Reader's Choice Awards. Head to rccaraction.com and fill out the online survey by March 19th, 2012. Be sure to also check out the Model Airplane News and RC Car Action Facebook pages this week to get a special discount code good for $10 off any order of $20 or more at airagestore.com. Hi, this is John Reed with Model Airplane News and Electroflight, and I'm here to give you a quick tip on setting up your aircraft. When you have larger planes like this, you generally have a servo for each side of the elevator. And what you want to do is you want to get them to be in sync and have the same amount of throw on both sides. So what you can do is you can design this little thing here, which is basically just a clothespin and I super glued a uh, bamboo skewer that you can get at the grocery store. Put that on there and you place it on both sides and you line them up as best you can. Now, it doesn't have to be 100% straight on or even. The main thing about it is that they are close. And then that way you can see if as you move up, you see that they stay pretty close together, that they don't separate apart here. Now you notice on this one here, when we go down, as we hit a certain point, see how the one elevator goes a little bit further. And this tells us that one's out of alignment. So we can make those adjustments in our control travel travels on each elevator, get them to work exactly the same and be in unison as they go through, that way you get nice even loops and circles around the sky. Remember to head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the February issues of Rated Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Rated Control Show. And we'll see you next time. I'm ready. Waiting for you. Stop burping and stuff. I'm not burping. Yeah, I had a hiccup. Nasty.